I came to the Glenrock community, my biggest goal was to be known as an innovative leader, someone who values transparency and makes decisions based on our students' wants and needs. When the broadcast media students at Glenrock High School pitched a concept for an original web series, it was a no-brainer for me. Together, we developed a show for the community, by the community. And we are ready to share your story right here, right now, on Charleston in Charge, take one. Cut. That's a wrap. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Charleston in Charge. Today's episode is very special, as it is our last one before summer break. Over the year, we have been having so much fun getting to know different community members. Since, it, since today is our last episode of the school year, we wanted to dedicate it to some of our graduating seniors. Let's meet Colin Redman, Jacob Bay, Michaela Kim, Abby Boyle, and Sam Pittman. These five graduating seniors are all taking different and exciting paths next year, whether they be committed to playing a Division I sport, taking a gap year, attending some of the nation's top universities, or preparing to enter the armed forces, we are so glad to have them here representing the class of 2023. They are some of Glenrock's finest students that have much insight to offer us into high school and the college application process. Over their four years at Glenrock High School, they balance academic, athletic, and social lives exceptionally well. I'm looking forward to hearing all of their strategies. Today, we're going to learn more about Colin, Jacob, Michaela, Abby, and Sam. So let's take a look. And today I'm here with five of Glenrock High School's uh, finest. So I'd like to start with uh, having them introduce uh, themselves. Why don't we start with Jacob? Hi, my name is Jacob Bay. Um, next year I'll be attending the United States Military Academy. My name is Sam Pittman, and next year I'll be doing a gap year in Israel. My name is Colin Ribbon, and I'm committed to play lacrosse at Quinnipiac University. My name is Abby Boyle, and next year I'll be going to Villanova. My name is Michaela, and I'll be attending Rutgers Honors College next year. I have some individual uh, individual questions for you, and let's start with Colin, who today I, I found out was the actual executive producer of Charleston in Charge, which is probably the best possible accomplishment you could you could have. Uh, but Colin, talk to us a little bit about. We know you're an outstanding athlete uh, and student, but talk to us a little bit about what advice you would give to a ninth or tenth grade student uh, athlete who's looking to want to play in college or even at the highest level of Division One. So the advice that I would give. Uh, freshmen, sophomores is definitely to stay on top of your schoolwork and maintain good grades uh, throughout all four years of school um, and especially put it in the work on and off the field. Um, you, you gotta grind by yourself sometimes. Not, not a lot of people are going to be there to help you along the way. So if you really want it, you gotta push yourself to get out to the field every day and just put in the work. Michaela, uh, first of all, congratulations on being the valedictorian for the class of uh, 2023, especially at such a high-performing uh, high school like, like Glen Rock. It's an amazing accomplishment. I'm curious, and I'm sure our viewers are, is how, how are you able to balance the academics and, and your personal life? One of the biggest things for me that helped me to balance my academics and personal life was keeping a calendar and writing everything I had to do for that week in it from club meetings to family events to assignments I had to do for school. So it really helped me keep track of what I had to do for that week, what I had to do for that day, and me, me, helped me to plan out when I had to study and when I had time to go, go out with my friends. But also going out and studying with my friends was actually really helpful because it was I could study, focus, and do my work, but also go out and socialize with my friends. Sam, your plans for your gap year in Israel just sound fascinating. Um, how did you and your family you know, go about making this decision? So I've known that I wanted to do a gap year in Israel, um, specifically the program I'm doing since I was like nine, ten years old. I've been going to a sleepaway camp that's run through the same organization as the gap year. And my mom actually did this when she was my age. And um, as far as what I'm actually going to be doing, so it's a nine month program. I'm spending the first semester in Jerusalem and I'm gonna be taking classes at Hebrew U, which is like a, a college in Israel. And then second semester, I'll be in Tel Aviv, which is like the main city. And I'll be doing an internship with um, an ambulance. Um, so like an EMT type of training. And in between, I'll be spending a month traveling, um, going to Europe, 
the United Arab Emirates and just uh, the whole time getting in, um, getting into touch with my culture and my religion. If you want someone to travel with you, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. That sounds fascinating. Abby, you're going to, to Villanova. Congratulations. And you're also our salutatorian for, for, for the class of 23 again. Congratulations. Um, talk to us a little bit about the fact that you know, here you are, you're a student athlete, and which is difficult in itself of balancing both. But how are you able to balance the personal, academic, and athletic life while doing so well in, in class? I think it's really important to just manage your time. Personally, I like to make to-do lists of everything I have uh, coming up that week. And then as I finish things off, check them off. Um, and that helps me really just stay organized. And I also think it's important to balance your time and make sure you have time for sports and also free time and time to spend with friends on the weekends too. Jacob, um, so you're going to, to West Point. Um, the process to get into there must, must be extraordinary. So how long did it take you to prepare for that and for underclassmen? Can you explain that process and, and what's important for them to know now if they want to take that, that same route? So I'm sure, assuming that planning to go to West Point took place a long time ago. The application process for any military academy is widely known as like the most rigorous uh, application process in all of the colleges in the U.S. But um, I'd say I started my application process February of my junior year. So yeah, and then I finished it in December of my senior year. So that's around like a 10 month process. Um, it's, it's very rigorous. Um, I guess the three main pillars would be academics, leadership potential, and uh, fitness. So for, I guess, the academics, they have a very big emphasis on testing, testing scores. So ACT, SAT, um, and they do super score. So I'd say take it as many times as you can. I took, I know I took the SAT a lot of times. Um, and then for leadership potential, um, that was in the works for me for many years. Um, I did three sports, uh, winter track, spring track, and cross country. And I worked my way up to get a captain positions for all those. And then in my junior year, I made sure I ran for a junior class president and was able to win that. And then my senior year, I did student council president. So yeah, I guess um, there's a big emphasis on leadership potential, obviously. Um, and then the last thing is fitness. Um, that's about 10% of your score. Um, but there is a fitness test, it's called the Candidate Fitness Assessment. Um, and it consists of like pull-ups, push-ups, running. Um, so you definitely want to prepare for that. Um, you want to get the highest score you can possible. So yeah, definitely prepare for that. And yeah, I'd say those are the three main things you want to focus on. So uh, if, you're, if you're looking to go to a military academy right now, um, I guess focus right now on keeping up your grades, preparing for the SAT, ACT, and then working towards getting those leadership positions mainly, so yeah. Jacob, actually, if you don't mind, a follow-up question. Where do you do the fitness test? So I actually attended their summer program. Um, it's called Summer Leaders Experience. Um, you apply for that actually really early, so junior year, early, like February. Um, and then if you're able to get into that, um, you could take it then. Um, it happens during the end of May. So that's an opportunity there. And then you can also, I know my friend, Andrew Zimmerman, um, he did, you can actually do it with your PE teacher, and he did, he did it that way. And then also for West Point, since it's such a close by academy, um, we have field force officers uh, readily available. So um, they'll host like nearby CFAs and that's where you can take them, so yeah. All right, it's time for rapid fire questions. Um, so we'll go around each time, really quick answers, and we'll start with Jacob. What's your favorite holiday? If I say New Year's. Fourth of July. Christmas. 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 Let's go backwards now. I'll be starting with you. Most used app on your phone? TikTok. Spotify. Snapchat. Snapchat. TikTok. Do you know that we, last show, we asked Miss Zimmerman what her favorite app was? Did we get anybody to take a guess as to what it was? I know what she said, so I'll <laughs> let them guess first. I'll give you one guess of what her favorite app would be. TikTok. What's the most used app on your phone? Indeed. Indeed. Oh, really? And we're trying to find out whether or not that's a valid app. We're not, we're not sure on that. Uh, Jacob, uh, dream uh, vacation location? Um, I'd say like an Asia tour, so like Indonesia, Japan, obviously Korea. Um, yeah, of course like that. Dominican Republic. Italy. Italy. Either Japan or Spain. Start with Abby. What's your favorite TV show? Friends. The Glory. All-American. Curb Your Enthusiasm. 
Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, Jacob, starting with you, ocean or pool? Ocean. Pool. Pool. Ocean. Pool. Abby, mountains or beaches? Beaches. Beaches. Mountains. Beaches. I'd say mountains lately. Jacob, what's your favorite season? Uh, probably fall. Spring. Fall. Summer. Fall. Abby, favorite class in school this year? Uh, statistics. Forensic science. Environmental. Latin. Econ, shout out parents. Uh, Jacob, favorite professional sports team? Uh, OKC Thunder. New York Jets. New York Rangers. Giants. New York Mets. Abby, chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Vanilla. Chocolate. Vanilla. Chocolate. Jacob, if you could master one instrument, what would it be? Uh, maybe like the xylophone. Definitely the ukulele. <laughs> the piano. I can't play the piano. The drums. Probably piano, too. Abby, window or aisle seat? Window. Aisle. Window. Aisle. Aisle. Jacob, what's your hidden talent? Um, I can make some pretty cool noises, so uh, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> I can do this. Yeah. Very nice. I'm pretty good with the, the Diablo, which is like um, a yo-yo type of thing. Okay. Pretty good at sleeping. I sleep a lot. <laughs> uh, I'm good at baking. I have a good memory, especially with like names and faces. Abby, favorite food? Uh, ice cream. Ramen. Chicken cutlet. Um, cheeseburger. A good steak. Okay, and our last uh, rapid fire question, uh, Jacob and the entire panel. Finish the sentence. Go Army, beat Navy. Navy. That does this edition of Charleston in Charge. I want to thank our student panelists. Um, again, these are some of the finest students that we have. They'll be wonderful ambassadors when they graduate uh, this upcoming June, and I wish them all the best going forward. Thank you. Thank you.